Hello children, hope you all are doing great. Before I begin with today's story, as always, let me ask you all, have you ever visited a beach? If you have visited, I am sure you must be imagining the wonderful sea under the beautiful blue sky, tall coconut trees on the beaches with the lovely sand where you must have built sand castles multiple times. Let me tell you, when I visited the beach, I took a bag along with me just to collect the beautiful seashells from the beach. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about few children of the same class as you going to the beach for a picnic and having a lot of fun in water and on the beach. The name of the story is, of course, The Beach. There was a lot of bustle outside the school gate as children of class two waved goodbye to their parents. And the parents telling them what to do and how to be careful at the beach. The children waved goodbye and started off to their picnic to the beach. They reached the seashore at around 10 a.m. The beach was lovely. Two children, Santosh and Meera, quickly got out the uh, bus and started making a castle with the wet sand on the beach. The teacher took the children in groups of four to play in the water. Children enjoyed the big waves on the shore. After playing in the water, children had snacks and then rested for a while. They played different board games like Ludo, Snakes and Ladders, etc. In the afternoon, the teachers held a treasure hunt where children had to look for seashells on the beach. And they said that the biggest three seashells would get prizes. The hunt began. John and Mariam went looking for shells behind a rock. They saw a shell and tried to pull it out. They found it hard to bring out the shell. Then they dug out all the soil around it and a beautiful shell with a lovely design on its back came out, just as this one. They took the shell to their teacher. The teacher said, wow, by looking at the shell. All the children came rushing from all the sides carrying the shells they found. Some of the shells were very beautiful, but none matched the size of this big shell. Now, this shell was a real treasure indeed. Their teacher, Miss Regina, washed the shell with the sea water. The underside of the shell was gleaming white. Everyone forgot about the competition and kept admiring the big shell. She said it could have found a place in the museum. Teachers said, they would put it in the school in a glass case where everyone could see it. John and Mariam felt very happy and proud because they found the shell. Wasn't it a wonderful story, children? You must be remembering your time spent at the beach. And whenever you visit the beach next time, you'll surely look for beautiful shells on the beach. Hope you all enjoyed the story. See you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye.